zombie siege. Uh, showed you what one of these things looks like. It's uh, uh, yeah. crazy. They actually uh, all it showed up and attacked in the middle of the house. My guys are in trouble. I don't know if I have any, uh, any left. Start our village. <laughs> Look at him. I uh, probably have to kill quite a few of you before I signed up. Oh my goodness. Uh, I've got to make a sword. <laughs> wow. Uh, these zombie uh, sieges are amazing. Basically, I think the only way to stop them is just not to be in your village. <laughs> and I... Which are down there. I hope these guys don't despawn. Let's see. Are they holding anything? They really don't want to let them out either, though. Well, one of them may have despawned already. Oh, there's nothing else we can do but uh, go down and see if anybody survive. No survivors. Whew. That was crazy. Well, glad I got the uh, recording on in time to show you <laughs> the siege. Um, or, let's see, we've been, I've just been tooling around the thing, so I guess it's probably pretty likely that that was going to happen at some point. <coughs> Almost guaranteed, in fact, so. Probably not the best place to just be hanging around. Um, got lots of levels. Um, we need some glass. Let's go ahead and put that down. Um, I think actually glass and grab spider eyes and I think I have sugar down there if not I have a shortcut to the sugar farm I don't have sugar down here but I have these guys made up And then oh, I need to make it into a potion. 
potion we can toss. Well, excitement. And restarting the village all over again. But, um, you know, the main purpose of the village was to uh, get emeralds and uh, turn the emeralds into bookcases. And we did that, so this is not urgent anymore. But, you know, uh, villagers, we really want to have some villagers around and this time I think what I'm going to do is going to segregate out the villagers that have the great trades. I bet they despawned. Let's see. They're gone. All right. So we'll get zombie villagers. Uh, we'll restart the village. And then uh, I think what I'm going to be doing is taking some of the... Uh, you know, the villagers that have the best trades, and putting them in some houses uh, away from the village um, where I can set up trading cells with them. Um, in fact, we might make it even in this house, the small rooms um, upstairs and downstairs in the front to have a good villager in each one, but we will uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's Go ahead and put this stuff back out here, and uh, I'm going to get to work on recruiting some zombie villagers and doing some more building. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I will uh, start recording if anything interesting happens. <coughs> Hi there. <coughs> so, um, recruited a second villager to populate our swamp village here, and I've done some building. Um, trying out a couple things. We'll go check them out over here. This is a uh, more monstrosity of a house. Uh, trying to do something as I repopulate the village that has a bunch of doors in it. Um, I'm actually, this was just a joke, uh, cutting these out, but, uh, you know, two stories, lots of room inside. Uh, we can go up, you can see the inside. Nothing fancy. Uh, but I like the combination of the dark oak planks with uh, stone. And these little andesite up top. Brought out the upstairs wall, as you can see, by a little bit. Give it some depth. Not terrible. A um, couple of the other huts over here. So, uh, as we get the village going again, uh, we might go ahead and uh, create some new perimeters, move some of the villagers over there. Um, now that we're going, uh, I'm pretty sick of them trampling my crops. Alright, so we are good to go. As you can see, I had a zombie villager that was trying to get into the house here, and uh, get my friend the librarian, and now we have a cleric, and uh, his um, trade is not great, 38 flesh, I guess it's not the worst, but it's not good. Um, we have one weakness potion left here. Um, I really want a farmer, but uh, let's get these guys going. I will trade with him, and I will throw him some uh, arrows. So, let's see. Trading, trading. Where is our flesh? It's downstairs, I guess. Let's grab some potatoes first. Just for that matter, will work fine. I don't think either of these guys will replant for me, so... Selective harvesting here. But villagers want uh, full bellies before they will uh, start breeding. So let's throw them about 10 of those. He took them. Let's go find his friend. Come on. 
took those. All right. And, uh, yeah, we'll let them do what they're going to do. Um. Yeah, so I was thinking, uh, setting a perimeter here. Uh, we have water that could connect. Uh, as you can see over here, I brought over dark oak saplings set up in this direction. You can see off in the distance right there. That's where the dark oak forest is, not too far away. So I thought I'd set up this woodcutter shack here. Forestry shack with all of our supplies to it. It's mostly outside. And this is little hidey hole. It goes down to our very first um, underground base that we started the world in. So this is where we had it. And then I also created this new corridor, which will probably be my main corridor going forward right here. And if we run down this way, and climb the ladder, use the uh, bricks in a smart way here. Uh, here we are in our beautiful lakeside fishing home. So this is a nice uh, nice place here. So yeah, so I think uh, to kind of reduce the mobs and other things, we're going to really <laughs> maybe create a perimeter and uh, light it up and um, put in a couple different uh, modes of fencing. Put a little pumpkin uh, jack-o'-lantern up in this tree so it lights it up a little bit. As you can see, I'm starting to replant some of the trees that we uh, tore out of the valley. And the other thing I did was really, I, I got rid of all these uh, basically doors, func functional doors over here. Um, uh, what this allows me to do, instead of having that ugly stuff here, I made a much tighter perimeter and allows me just to uh, harvest pumpkins a lot easier too by putting these half slabs down. The pumpkins can't grow at the end, they can't grow on this side. This hides water underneath it very nicely see every four blocks or so there's water um, and then if I get melon seeds I can do it down the other side with maybe a little decoration on either end should be a nice farm and when I don't have these guys around the nice thing about these farms now is basically I can uh, harvest them using water by just dropping, say, a bucket of water right here. Boom in both directions. And I can go around and harvest, pick up my harvest real quick. Um, thinking about ha putting half slabs down around so I can actually just dump it right on top of the uh, water blocks. But uh, I'll decide on that later. All right, well, uh, I replant and wait for these guys to breed a little bit. Oh, I want to show you one more thing before we end this video. Um, I got some new weaponry. I was, <laughs> well, I was building um, because we are still doing this all with the hardcore challenge rules, meaning no sleeping in beds ever. Um, so I'm building and working throughout the night. Um, so I got two new things. I got uh, this bow. Maybe I would actually had that before. The Unbreaking Bow with Flame and Power 4. It's really good for getting creepers from a distance. I have this sword now, um, which will two-hit any zombie or uh, skeleton. Um, and uh, if one hit them when you walk away. And I just got this sword. Not great for a level 30 enchantment I didn't get looting three, but uh, 
I am I need my ender pearls. <laughs> so this is my Enderman sword. Um, so I will be using that to try to get more ender pearls and uh, and go from there. Still do, even though we don't really need to find the fortress anymore. We have uh, everything we need for a little while. Um, wouldn't mind having a stockpile of ender pearls for when I feel like uh, going out and fighting the dragon. Or just actually, uh, might as well have uh, explored the end fortress. Uh, perhaps there's um, melon seeds there. The easier way to get melon seeds would just be to go. I mean, sorry, a uh, a jungle. Um, but with uh, large biomes, uh, that could be quite a walk. Uh, I will say these depth strider boots being in the swamp is pretty fantastic. Uh, I can walk around pretty quickly. I haven't, still have not done a lot of exploring. Um, the only biomes that we visited are this swamp here. Um, and let's see, we, we've gone in. Where are we here? Oops, wrong button. Uh, probably 700, 600, 700 blocks in that direction, just west, northwest, and uh, tried to find the end fortress. Um, other than that, I've probably only gone, you know, 50 blocks in that direction, maybe 150 blocks or so in that direction to that dark oak forest. Um, so I will uh, be exploring the landscape with you um, in the coming days. But uh, it's turning night. Oh, it did have one other piece of village improvement. We'll see uh, if we can get these guys together in a house at night. Here they ended up shacking up. Yes, they're in the same house. I'm going to go in there and give them some datas. Should get them breeding soon enough. Put the rest of our potatoes away. I got lots of poisonous potatoes here. Uh, you'll see I made basically made each one of these shacks a storage shed for specific kinds of vegetables, carrots, potatoes, and wheat down here. It's just uh, trying to kick up my uh, trading into overdrive. Let's, uh, go ahead and uh, put some of this stuff away. Let me do my inventory. Something more logical. I guess those are jack o' lanterns. Okay. And um, the last thing, so we can start eating better. I'm sick of potatoes, and I am going to want to eat better. But we needed eggs. So I'll get to demonstrate my bow here. Boom. Pretty nice, huh? Makes the world a lot safer when you're wearing diamond armor and you can one hit a creeper. Um, check out. I'm going to cluck 3,000. <laughs> Um, so these guys lay eggs here, and as you can see, there's a water stream, and in that corner where they're getting forced in the hopper. This guy here. Thank you for the boots. Um, so that's the chicken coat, and then, uh, oh, get rid of this slime here. Down here is where the egg production is. So, boom. 11, 12 eggs. Not bad. Um, for top efficiency, you'd want this, you know, right in the middle of our village. 
Um, but I... And I probably should and just turn the sound of uh, friendly mobs down, but... Uh, I'm so used to not turning them down and... Uh, care about fighting... Super big <laughs> Uh, not in MHC, uh, but uh, that that I'm used to building these things, you know, just on the edge of the base that I go to often enough to activate them, but not so close that the sound. So yeah, um, much more geared up now. Uh, feeling pretty safe as long as I don't do anything dumb. Um, and <clears throat> as you can see, I'm not against ripping stuff down. Um, so I'm really trying out this build style. I'm thinking this larger building goes along with this a little bit. And the other ones we're trying to fit in. And maybe that hybrid building in the middle, I'm not, I probably will rip that down. Um, we'll have to decide. Let's see if I can hit this witch from here. Got him. Got her. She was not happy about that. Boom, stop healing yourself. <laughs> okay. Um, also added a bunch of vines. Uh, they grow completely out of control, so they always need trimming. But uh, I think it works in this biome to have vines on some of your builds. Uh, so, you know, I'm not going to put it on this side, but putting between these... See, I'm starting to grow here. I like it. <laughs> All right. Well, these guys are thinking about something. Um, I will uh, sign out for a while, and um, I was thinking about a couple of improvements I can do to the roof line of this house. I might go work on right now, and uh, I will. Uh, Turn the video back on when we get uh, makes progress here.